Hi Church, uh, it's Monday morning and I'm out walking the dog and I wanted to just take a moment to uh, do a bit of a summary as to what happened on Sunday at church. Um, for those of you um, at any of our sites actually, you would have heard of Ben preach. There was Ben Britton preaching in the Isle of Wight, Ben Oliver was preaching in um, Windsor and at our 6pm meeting in Bracknell and uh, those of you who were at the Bracknell AM meetings um, and in Sandhurst on Sunday, um, you would have heard me speak on the Good Samaritan. This is our second week looking at this parable that Jesus told in Luke 10 um, that we call the Good Samaritan and uh, this week we looked at the two characters of the priest and the Levite in this parable we, we looked at who they were and, and we asked the question what could have been the reasons that they didn't stop to help the guy that was beaten up at the side of the road and we looked at some possible ideas that the, for reasons why the priest and why the Levite didn't stop and then we also began to explore reasons as to why sometimes us as, as followers of Christ, as people who believe in Jesus, who, who know that we're, we're called to help the poor, why, why we might not stop and help those who need us, those who are in poverty, those who um, have various needs um, local to us and, and around the world. And we explored this idea and we were beginning to, beginning to think about the different reasons. And actually we looked at the image of an iceberg, if you remember, that there are some reasons that are under the surface that might cause us to stop or not stop. And there are some reasons above the surface. The, the, the things beneath the surface tend to be what's our core inspiration in our life? What's, what's the big kind of drives in our life and are we inspired by God the fact that he bandaged us up first that we are that beaten up guy on the side of the road so firstly we were looking at the, the what was beneath the surface and then we also explored what's above the surface what are those surface level logistical practical reasons that cause us to maybe not stop and help those who are in need and and some of the research we looked at, um, if you remember, actually showed us that time seems to be a real big reason why somebody didn't, doesn't stop to help people. So this week, um, whether you're on your own or in your small groups, I would love you to start maybe by having a time of repentance. Um, repentance is about turning back to God. And maybe, maybe you want to kind of think through some times, maybe even recently, where you've had opportunities to help people and you haven't taken them. I'd love for you to consider that and, and allow yourself to just turn back to God in this time. Repent of what, what you hadn't done in those times. Um, and as we do that, our eyes get kind of drawn back to God and actually re remember um, what he has done for you. Remember Remember that he has bandaged your wounds. Remember that he has helped you, that he has given you time and patience and love and compassion. And, and watch that inspiration in you come up. So maybe the first thing I'd love you to do is to repent. The second thing I'd love you to do is to explore what, how, how are things in your soul? How are things beneath the surface in your life? Are you driven by this inspiration? Of, 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 are, you, are you inspired by what God has done for you? Or, or are you driven in your life by other things? Um, so consider that and maybe in your small groups you want to talk about that. How do you kind of keep topped up, as it were, on that inspiration from God, that, that reality that he, is, he has fixed you, that he is in the business of restoring you? And then secondly, what I'd love you to do in your small groups is explore that what's above the surface. Maybe you can ask the question of each other, uh, is what, what are the things and maybe excuses if we want to use that word, what excuses and what things in your life stop you from helping those in need? And, and what might you do to, to overcome those things, to, to kind of really instill in your life um, space, margin, time, opportunity, so that when things come your way, when people come your way who are in need, when, when you bump into opportunities to serve those who need you most, you're ready to, you're prepared to, your, your mind's in the right place, your heart in the right place and, and you don't be like those 10% of no you don't be like the 90% sorry but you're like the 10% that do stop anyway have a great time together whether you're in your small groups or whether you're just in, uh, in families or whether you're on your own processing this stuff god bless you and, uh, and may we be those people who are reaching out to those who need us most may we be those people who are reaching out to those in poverty reaching out to those in need and uh, may we see our world changed because of it. God bless you and, uh, and we'll see you soon.